Hello, this is Dr. Paul Cottrell, and I'm doing a update on the S&P 500 for September 22nd at the close of the market. So I have three Fibonaccis here. One's going to the 2016. Um, then we have the uh, Fibonacci that's during the COVID crash which is in 2020, and then another Fibonacci that starts at the end of the bear market in 2022 and going all the way, you know, into a current or in current time. So uh, what we have here is... Um, a very strong support level because of this 23% retracement, this 23% retracement on this Fibonacci, and then the 50% retracement on the small Fibonacci. Now, again, the, the reference point is the high point of the S&P 500, or in this case, SPY, which is the ETF, of 479.98. Now, right now, we're trading at 430. 0.42. And as you can see, relative to the high point, right, we are at a 38% retracement from the high point. Now, you know, I'm a firm believer of behavioral finance. Um, the dynamics of the market are based on buyers and sellers' behavior. Um, not so much on the fundamentals. Uh, there is a case to be made at the very, very long term. Uh, fundamental analysis, but I think when you're talking about um, when you're talking about price curves, especially at the macro level, uh, there's a lot of behavioral dynamics that can be mapped using this kind of technique. So there's a very strong support level off of this fifty percent retracement. Okay, that fifty percent retracement is very close to this twenty this 23% retracement, right? It's like right on there, right? So um, so what we can say is, is that about the, the 420 mark is a very strong support level. So we may test that, but it should be a very strong support level because of this 23% retracement relative to the high of here. OK, um, so with that said, uh, behavior is is uh, is such that if this breaks, this 38 percent retracement breaks and it starts to go down, 420 should be a support level to purchase. I still hold the thought that we are going to be testing the high of the market by year's end. Now, uh, we're at 430, and the, the, the high was almost 480. So, you know, we have about $50, $50 to go on this ETF per share for it to, to get to that point. Now, because this 38% retracement was almost tested back in August, right? And then it went up and it tested the 23% retracement, broke it a little bit and then failed, came back down. And you can see that's why there was a, a little bit more of a, because it failed, it, it, there's more energy to sell off. So we should start seeing algorithmically some buyers at the 38% retracement relative to this zero point, the high point here. We should have buyers here and we should definitely have buyers at the, the 420 mark. So uh, with that said, uh, we, we should see, it, it might be a little bit of bumpy for, by the, uh, for the next week or so, but I do think that we're gonna start seeing this march a little bit. Now, if you just drew a line from this point all the way through, right? Um, let me see if I can draw a line here. Right. If you drew a line from here and connected that here 
and you just kind of like extrapolated that out, right? Right? You can say that this is going to intersect pretty close as you ex 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 extrapolate that out pretty close to the 38% retracement. Okay. So that's going to be a test point. That's, that's, that's going to be for, for these behavioral guys. Um, if that breaks this trend line, right, then, um, then it will definitely test the 420. All right. But I, because that 50% retracement is right in line with the 23% retracement of much larger Fibonacci's um, that go, you know, back to years here, I would say, you know, I would say that this uh, is very, very, very supportive. Now, if we drew another line, right, as another trend line, right, that's kind of your channel that's happening. You know, it's going up and then it sells down and then it goes up and then it sells down and tests the, the, the high point of the channel and the low point of the channel. And, you know, for quite a while it was in the middle and then it tested the high point and then now it's coming back down and it's testing the low point. So I suspect that once it's testing around that, that 38%, it's right there or maybe the the 50 it will it will go up so it should hold this channel should hold um so i wouldn't be too worried if you can if you see like here we saw it it went down it tried to go back up and then it fell back down again and then it started marching that's what i'm I, that, that's sort of kind of the feel i have here here right? It's going down, it came up, and then it, it fell back down, right? It went down, came back up a little bit, and fell back down. I think that's something similar. Now, what is different is, is that there this is uh, a gap, right? And when there is a gap on the day chart, then usually that is a little bit of a bearish signal right there. But I think that's bearish signal. We'll test this it, so that next week might go down. Um, but I'm still pretty, pretty uh, hopeful that the 50% here on the smaller Fibonacci will be a big support level, which is a 420 and which is in line with this 23% retracement. So I think that this channel will continue. I don't think there's this will break, um, but it, it's the, the other algorithmic traders, they're all like, they're all like putting their bets in now because it's right near that 38% retracement. It's at uh, uh, it's near uh, a round number 430 uh 50 percent retracement is you know really close to the 420 mark very close to the 23 so these things are all aligning together so there's people are putting their bets and right at that at that at, at that intersection the bears are going to be trying to push it past this channel lower part of the channel and then the bulls are going to be putting in their bets thinking that it'll bounce up I suspect because of this alignment of these Fibonacci's that we're going to be battling at the around just above the 420 mark for a little while, and then it'll start to march back up. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of uh, an understanding of the the S and P 500 market. The Federal Reserve did hold rates, uh, but did communicate that a rate hike may be in order in the near future. Oil prices have been going up. So that's going to be uh, a pressure on gasoline and uh, inflation. And I think that was the reason why the Federal Reserve thought that uh, maybe another rate hike is in order. But they, um, you know, they decide to pause and uh, just kind of wait it out a little bit. So hopefully you get a better idea that there's going to be a little bit of a battle that little gap that little gap drop is a bearish signal short term uh there seems to be a support level on this lower part of the channel 
support level at the 50% seems to be, uh, um, you know, a minor support level at the 38% and um, a major support level at the, this 23% and this 23%. So it, it, keep in mind, there's going to be a little bit of battle. It may go down to around the 420 mark, but then bounce, I think it'll bounce back up. I don't think it's going to break the channel. I think it's going to maintain this bullish, this bullish um, um, uh, trend moving higher. And I still hold that as of right now, um, it's very possible that we get, you know, we test the, the 460 mark and then we hit uh, the 480. Now let's, um, let's try to, I don't know if we'll be able to do it because we can't, we can't move the time line here but we can create the line and extrapolate out, right? And if we're in line, right? All the way out the best that I can, all right? So this right here, as, the, as we kind of extend this line out, right? You can kind of imagine that this line will intersect the 480 mark, right? Probably, It's possible that this this line, in theory, would would intersect the 480 mark, the top part of the channel, in about a month or so, right? Now that doesn't mean that the price of the S and P 500 will be there, but the point is is that this can kind of act as a if if the channel holds and it just in it's trading within the channel, then that means that as this bounces off of the bottom part of the channel and starts to move up and then drops back down and moves back up and kind of harmonically moves upward, right? That we might see the year end at the 480 mark it, as long as this, cha this, this channeling is held. So that's why I keep on saying that there's strong support levels at, at the 50% there's strong support levels at the 23% levels, and it's holding a channel. And if it maintains that, then we'll probably test at the end of the year the 480 mark. Um, barring that there's no you know, other crazy stuff that happens in the news uh, in terms of health, in terms of the wars in, in Europe, um, in terms of you know, some other shock to the system that we you know, haven't really priced in yet. But um, I think that as long as this channel holds, I think that there's there's this thing's going to move. And because this kind of gapped down a little bit, and there's you know there was a little bit of uh, downward pressure within the channel compared to this steady move up. Uh, this is building up energy for for a move upward. Um, when you keep on going up, up, and up, and there's not uh, a series of downward uh, corrections, then then it's not as stable. It's my point. A little bit, you know, sell buys, many bad buys, some sells, sells, then buys again, then some sells, then some more buys. That is a more stable system than buy, 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 because eventually there won't be any more buyers and then it'll crash. Same thing with sell. Sell, 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 sell. Eventually there won't be any more sellers and then the, the market will start to go up. So a stable system works more in this kind of harmonic uh, moving in an upward trend, especially when you're talking about a macro market like the S&P 500. So that's my take on this. Hopefully you learned something and uh, you can position accordingly. I think that there's big support levels at 420. And I still think that that at the by year's end, we're going to be testing 480 unless this channel really breaks. But I don't suspect that that will because of the because of this alignment between the 50% retracement and the 23% retracement. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe to all my channels. I have three channels on YouTube. All the links are in the description of this video in all my videos. So please subscribe to all three of my YouTube channels. Also subscribe to my Rumble, BitChute, and Brighteon channel. 
please help support my news coverage by being a subscriber on Patreon for a nominal fee, fee that would help to support my, my news coverage. And uh, if you would like to support me through donations, you can donate through Buy Me a Coffee. The link is in the description of all my videos. And uh, you can also go to my website and you can donate on the homepage at the very bottom. You can donate through PayPal or Stripe. That would be appreciative. It helps to cover the news, the news coverage. Um, and that support is, is uh, very appreciative. In addition, you can purchase health supplements that I offer on my store. It's the-studio-reykjavik.com. The link is in the description of this video and all my videos. It's the-studio-reykjavik.com. And you can purchase nano silver liquids and gels, soaps and lozenges. You can purchase my multivitamin. Uh, you can uh, also purchase uh, dispensers like spray dispensers and uh, nasal dispensers, uh, drops dispensers. You can also purchase a plethora of different supplements that I offer. I have uh, an I have lignans, which helps support hormonal health and boost your immune system. I have uh, in, uh, uh, digestive enzyme complexes to help you break down carbohydrates, lipids, and, and um, proteins. I have zinc and magnesium, D3, vitamin C, resveratrol, turmeric, ashwagandha, B-complex vitamins, um, two different types of probiotic. Uh, one's in a powdered form, the other is in a, in a capsule form. And then I also have a very strong antioxidant, which is called C60. I sell it in the two ounce, the four ounce, and the eight ounce in coconut or avocado oil. C60 is a very strong antioxidant, which helps to reduce the oxidative stress that's in your cell. By doing that, what will happen is, is that you'll have better mitochondrial health and you'll have an increase in ATP, which is the energy of the cell. It's one, it's one way of the cell to get energy. So it, it, uh, it, it improves that. And when you have more, a better healthy cell, then what will happen is, is you will be able to uh, fight infection better. So you're really boosting your immune system. If you're chronically inflamed or if you're chronically, your cells are chronically stressed oxidatively, then what will happen is that your body will start to break down and you won't be able to fight so the whole key here is to boost your immune system. You can do that by neutralizing pathogens, by taking nanosilver liquids and gels. You can uh, reduce the oxidative stress by taking strong antioxidants like resveratrol and C60 and reduce inflammation by taking turmeric and ashwagandha. Ashwagandha controls blood glucose levels and turmeric will help with uh, bringing down that inflammatory response. Many cofactors for for your metabolism um, and even through the TCA cycle needs B-complex. So uh, taking a B-complex supplement is also prudent. So I have a great B-complex supplement that you can purchase. So please take a look at the supplements that I offer and uh, that will help to boost up your immune system and, and for you to weather the storm as we go through this, as we go through this um, worrisome time period uh, uh, during the season, this, during this, um, the cold season, let's put it that way. I'm trying to be as generic as possible to keep the video up. So please go to the store and get the supplements that you need to boost up your immune system and, and follow my protocol.
In addition, I also have all natural deodorants in citrus and in peppermint. They're made by essential, they're made from essential oils. And um, these essential oils were procured from the Himalayas. So these are, this is a, a, a great product that, that uh, Rainbow Herbals makes. And uh, please try the all natural deodorants that I have. Thank you for supporting my work. Hopefully you uh, pay attention to the market, the, the stock market and, and what's going on with the Federal Reserve as we track this through. Um, uh, hopefully you can, you can uh, benefit from some of the knowledge that I'm, I'm providing you. Thank you for supporting the channels. Thank you for subscribing. The ones that haven't subscribed, please subscribe to all the channels. And also go to the store and get the products that you need to boost up your health. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.